Hello, so we're back and this time we have a customer job, a Lenovo ThinkPad E5A0. So check here, yeah? i7 agent and Radeon graphics. This is a nice laptop, right? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Now let's plug a charger. So plug in the charger and you can see on the USB C check there. Five volts and like zero amps. So it's non negotiating the the voltage, yeah. The input voltage. We should have 19 there, 19 volts. So uh, we can say this laptop is dead. Let's open the laptop quickly and try to have a look inside. So the laptop is open. Well, we have nothing inside. We don't have battery. We don't have RAM memory. Even the Wi-Fi card is missing. Yeah, this laptop is part from a job load. We don't have the BIOS battery. So what we can check before we are starting, let's be sure this is not a waste of time job. Huh? We've been there, we know how it is. Let's check the coils, let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail, zero, and this here is fine. Yes, yeah, so the main power rail is not shorted. No, it's not shorted. The coils, good. 26, four ohms. Okay, this is the GPU, okay, it's making sense. Four ohms. Ten. Good. 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 And this one, good. Okay, so you know what? The board is looking fine. I mean, I can't see anything wrong on this board. Now, we have to find the PD controller and see what's going on there. So let me take the board out because probably it's on the other side of the board. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, remind me next time to take out the keyboard first. So the power button is on this board. You know what? Everything is looking fine. Hmm? So what is the next step? The next step is to find what's wrong here. And first we have to check the voltage on the IO chip. We should have 3.3 .3 volts on the IO chip. Yeah, so let me plug the charger. Okay, let's get the multimeter and try to find the 3.3. .3. I said we should have some capacitors around this chip, like this one, yeah? And here we have zero. Yeah, the multimeter is working. So here is zero volts. Here is zero volts, you can see. And here is zero volts. So basically we have no voltage on the EC chip. And the question is why? So I'll unplug the charger, I'll switch the multimeter on the ohm range. Let's see if if the main power is shorted on the, around the EC chip, and it's not, and it's not shorted, and it's not shorted. Okay, that's strange. Let's come with the power supply because I cannot trust the multimeter. I'll switch the power supply to 3.3, .3, yeah, around 3 volts. Let's see what the power supply is saying. So here is taking 30 milliamps, which is about right. And here is ground. Yeah, it is ground. So 30 milliamps is normal for the EC chip. So we know the EC chip uh, is looking good. Okay, so I believe this truck is coming from the, from the charging port, right? Okay, let's plug the charger and check the voltage. So I plug the charger and here we have nothing. Okay, that's cool.
here we have nothing and here we have nothing I mean what we are doing wrong here huh because this truck clearly is coming from the charging port right and on the charging port we have at least six five volts so we should have five volts there right Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's have a look here then. So from the charging port, the power is coming here, right? No. It's coming here, right? No. Okay, so where the power is going from the charging port? Anyone knows? No. You know what? Call me crazy, but I believe here we are dealing with a faulty charging port. Huh? What do you think? Wait a second. So we have a bend pin there, eh? You can see that bend pin? This one. But the problem is the other pins are looking fine. Let me see from the other side. From this side, we have the same weight. One pin is missing over here. This pin is bent here, you can see it. But I'm not sure if this is a reason why this port is not working, or the, why this motherboard is not working. So we know we have a faulty charging port, yeah? Okay, so what you will do on this point, you will order another charging port, right? But how do you know the charging port is, is the only problem? Hmm? How you will know? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the power supply and I'm going to come with 5 volts, yeah? Exactly where 5 volts has to be, here, I believe. And I'm looking on the power on the power meter. So check that it's taking 2.2 amps and the voltage is 19. You can see. Check on the meter. And now the voltage is keeping with 19. Hmm? So you understand the issue. The issue is uh, it will not negotiate the, the voltage without the power on the EC chip. So that's the only way to test. Yeah, we have no voltage. So these 19 volts are uh, being stopped here. Yeah, I'm not going into the board. No, nothing, zero volts. So you understand uh, how you check? You ignore the plus, yeah? And you just try to power on the EC chip. As soon as the AC chip is on, it will speak with the PD controller. You see, we have 5 volts, okay? Let's come with 5 volts, yeah? Only with 5. On uh, where it has to be 5, because the 5 volts has to go here. The voltage is getting negotiated, the voltage rise to 19, and then I will have 19 here. So let's come with 5 volts here. And you can see the meter is going uh, down and it's coming up with 19. You can see. So now it's taking no current from the meter. It's taking current from my power supply. Check that. It's taking like 100 milliamps. And now I can even switch to 19. Let me switch to 19. On the same point, yeah? On the same spot here. The charging port smoked, lol. I got scared. The charging port is hot. Did you see that? Did you see that smoke? Let's try it one more time. Let's see. He's not doing it. Come on. Maybe the charger has to be plugged. Let's plug only the meter without power. Yeah, check that, check that, 3 amps. We need more current. 
4.4 amps. Yeah, check check the smoke. Check the smoke. You can see the smoke. You can't see it. Yeah, the meter is coming on without the without the power. <laughs> yeah, now it's not short anymore. No, now it's not short. We fix it! We fix it! 19 volts, 600 milliamps. That's mean my board is coming on. Now plugging back the charger. It's working great, you know, every time, you see? 19 volts. Uh, the laptop, it is on. Because it's the battery, the BIOS battery is not plugged in. The laptop went, uh, yeah, it's on, it's coming on. 1.1 amps and it's working great. Huh? Working? Yeah. Okay, so the long story short, every component has a black smoke inside. Soon as you take the black smoke from the component, the component will work again. Okay, great, fantastic. Now, just leaving the joke on one side, uh, what you eat, what is to learn from this video is how you check if the board is good without replacing the, the, the charging port. Uh, of course, I will order the charging port. Indeed, the board is working. So now I know for sure uh, the charging port is the only problem with this uh, laptop. I just wish you have a beautiful weekend and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.